I'm Casimiro Rodriguez, president and founder of the Hispanic Heritage Council of Western New York. My name is Denora Baines. I'm a board director for the Hispanic Heritage Council of Western New York. And I am also part of the committee that we established the Sin Fronteras Radio. Sin Fronteras of Western New York is a bilingual, bicultural radio program that serves the Western New York community. We educate, we um, communicate and share stories of our community, what's going on locally, what's going on nationally in the Hispanic community. But we also share about local news, uh, national news that relates to our community. Sin Fronteras Radio will have uh, a diverse set of programming. We will be having talk shows, we'll be interviewing people. If you think about it, and Sin Fronteras wants to be able to bring it to the Hispanic community. There was a need to have Sin Fronteras go on the air because in Buffalo, uh, we have a population of 45,000 Hispanics, Latinos. In Western New York, we have approximately 75,000. And uh, till the point that we launched Sin Fronteras in Western New York, there was not a radio programming that communicates, educates, and informs our community. There was a need for a bilingual uh, Hispanic radio show in West New York because of the growing population. If we want to be able to tell their stories, and they want their stories to be told their way. They want um, to be able to hear content from back home, from Puerto Rico, from Latin America, from South America, and you'll be able to bring that here in West New York. Well, the reason why I see from that as a Western New York is so important to the Hispanic community in Western New York is because it's the only means of radio programming that serves our growing Hispanic population in Western New York and Southern Ontario. A radio show like Sin Fronteras West New York is important to the Buffalo community because it creates diverse content that all can enjoy, that it provides an opportunity for Hispanics to be able to bring and educate the community about their culture, about what they're doing, about the impact that businesses have on the local economy, a place where local black and brown artists can also share uh, information about what they're doing. Local black and brown businesses can also come to the radio show and have a place for them that they can share what they're also doing and what the services they provide. But it's also an opportunity for all other community organizations to be able to reach that community and talk about the services that they can provide to them. So Sin Fronteras West New York was actually re-established. So we had started this um, years ago where board directors were also doing interview shows. And then we decided we needed to bring this back because it's important to our community. And lucky enough that WBFO uh, decided to, hey, come on board. Uh, you can start the radio show here. And now we have Radio Bilingue and then Sin Fronteras radio show um, gets aired with local content and it gets aired here locally. So now our community has a radio show that they can relate to. And it's also bilingual, uh, so that we will have content in English and in Spanish. Sin Fronteras West New York is a component of the Hispanic Heritage Council of West New York. Um, it is a radio show that the Hispanic Heritage Council started, but it also will be part of the Hispanic Heritage Cultural Institute. And we will have a media center where it will be produced and streamed through the Hispanic Heritage Cultural Institute. You can listen to Sin Fronteras West New York Radio on 88.7 WBFO HD3 Radio, or you can stream on all major podcast platforms. We'd like to extend our thanks and appreciation to Salino Law. Through their underwriting, we're able to promote and produce Hispanic, bicultural, and bilingual programming through Sin Fronteras to Western New York 
in Southern Ontario.